Hello, welcome to creatingforgrace.com. Today we are going to do a reverse emboss technique on some vellum. I used Stazon and I also used the Blended Bloom stamp set from Stampin' Up. It's 135906. So I stamped it on this side and then what I did is I flipped it over and just used a stylus. I didn't want to sit here and make you go through the entire thing, but I'm on a foam pad, which Stampin' Up! also has, which are amazing even just to stamp on, but really good for this. So I did it on the opposite side so that when you flip that over, you really get kind of a 3D looking image here. And then what I'm gonna do, we have the Stampin' Blend Abilities, and I took the Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna use the largest size and I'm just going to color in on the back the center of the flower and none of the stylus or the coloring has to be perfect you just want it to show through and for the base of the card we did a typical A2 size I did it in black then I used the Hello Honey and I just went an eighth of an inch down. So normally an A2 size is five and a half by four and a quarter. So what I did was five and an eighth by four and one eighth, or I'm sorry, five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And then I used our window frames collection. It's one, two, nine, zero, two, one. And out of those, the only two that I am using are the third and fourth biggest size. So there's one, two, and then I took out the next two sizes here. And you'll know that you have the right ones. When you go to do the black layer that's going to be popped up here, it's the one that just fits inside there. You're also going to need a white frame in here. And what I did is took that same one that we used on the black and just layered those two sizes together very evenly and then ran it through the big shot and cut that out and that's how I got this little frame here. So very, very simple to do. And the only thing you're going to need to do after that is you're going to want to lay your blended bloom on the back here. And I'm just going to take some paper snips to make it simple. You're going to want him stuck down. Pretty close to all the way around. So I'm just putting a little bit of adhesive. And that's just to stick the vellum down. You just want to get that pretty centered. And you want the popped out side to be the one that is showing through the window. And so that looks pretty good to me. So if you flip that over, you'll see what I mean. And if you didn't get your flower centered right there, don't worry. I just take a little pair of paper snips and I cut that little extra piece of vellum off because the thing is you want to have your flower centered right there. So very, very simple, just like that. So the reason that we did this white frame is if you just put it down like this, that's the contrast that you get. But what I really liked the look of was laying this down just inside here. And then you can see that really brightens that up. So in order to do that, since it was so similar in size, I just took dimensionals. Since we are going to be popping up the back anyway. And I lined them up. You 
want a little embellishment on the front, so I've pre-cut some of the Hello Honey stitched ribbon. And I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on each end so that when I flip this over, we're going to have it about there. And you just want it to stick on the back there. And then you're just going to center this. All popped up. And you have that nice thing. I get qu questions a lot about making a bow. And so I cannot do the bunny ears, which I hear a lot of. And so that's what I do is I just do a regular bow and then really just play with the ends just like this. And I think you get a pretty nice looking bow like that. Trim your ends a little. And you're going to want a glue dot for your bow. And just like that. And then I also did the word celebrate. I'm going to do it as a birthday card, and I use the Good Greeting stamp set, which is available through the end of October with any qualifying hostess order, which is a $300 order. Then you will get the your choice of this in clear or in wood, and I love the font on this, and I love all the sayings, too. There's hugs and kisses, peace and joy, celebrate, sparkle, cheers, you know, addition to all the regular ones, very bright. So they're different, and it's a really pretty font. So I like that. Then I took the decorative label punch, and I'm going to punch this out so that it's towards the bottom. Because you don't need a lot of it showing. We're just trying to center it up. And it's going to be tucked underneath the ribbon as well. So I'm going to grab my paper snips. And I'm going to cut straight across here. And then I'm just going to put a little adhesive on the back. And he's just going to be tucked right in there. And that's going to be it. So we'll add a little pearl to the center. And one of the tricks that I do is I use my paper snips to pick up the pearls and then put them where I want them. It works a lot easier for me. And so you have a nice embossed vellum. It's reverse embossed. You have the white little background, which gives some accent. It's on the Hello Honey paper. And the back part is popped up as well. Hello Honey ribbon with the Good Greeting stamp set. Thanks so much, and I hope this helped. I had a lot of questions about putting this card together and what I did, and people seem to really like it. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Happy creating.